Okay, welcome to a new episode. And we're gonna play Zelda Zelda again. again. Play Zelda. Zelda. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I've, uh, the last video was 36 minutes long. And it was almost a gig in size. So I've made some adjustments to the settings. Hopefully the video quality isn't too terrible now. But that's just too big. I can't. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing some really simple thing <laughs> that would make high quality <coughs> files that are not so ridiculously huge, you know? Uh, last time we skipped the opening cinematic, and so I thought I should really uh, put that in there, because, well, nowadays it's not all that amazing, I guess. You gotta remember, this was... This was a launch title, wasn't it? Yeah. If not... This was, I think, one of the first titles released for... If not at launch, uh, definitely pretty shortly thereafter. So the advancements from the 8-bit to this are pretty awesome. <clears throat> but of course later, when you had stuff like Super Metroid, kind of overshadowed this stuff. A little bit. That zoom in is pretty nice though. Especially for the time period. Mm -hmm. So at this point in gaming, you know, we're not really into full realism yet, so there's a lot of stuff that doesn't really make sense. Like the castle is not all that big. There's not that many people that live in this place, this completely enclosed place, you know, it's kind of like a Dragon Ball Z world, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's not very, like, logically believable, but this is, it's a video game first, and it still holds to that menta mentality, <clears throat> which I think a lot of modern games could really do to bring that back. Yeah. Uh, so, we actually did something pretty stupid last time. I shouldn't have quit as quickly as I did. Uh, because I need to go get the Pegasus boots. I'm gonna start from Sanctuary. I think that sounds like a smarter idea. All things considered. So we're gonna try to get all of the rest of the pendants in this episode. The Pegasus boots are going to help a lot for speed, of course. The goddesses. It's good to know where they are. Memorize their locations. And just keep an eye on your life bar. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One time I fell down that hole and I found the secret room. It was a freak occurrence. I didn't even know the secret room existed. I can't remember the name of it. It's some guy. Some guy's name. And it's got a bunch of blue rupees in it. And then when you exit the room, you come out and it's Link's house. It's crazy. Shit. So hopefully they'll have magic potion for me now. Magic dust. Because that stuff is good stuff. Yep, there it is. Also, if you talk to them, they'll give you a sample of the red potion refilling all your hearts. So it's like another goddess location. The magic uh, 
The magic powder. You need the magic powder to get the magic point upgrade from the trapped demon by the blacksmith's house. And you definitely want that because your your mana potion, uh, your mana will uh, definitely be tried when you get to places like Turtle Rock. A couple of other choice locations. So yeah, I should have gone over here and talked to Sahasrila. And we've ended up wasting some time here on this supposedly so-called speedrun. But it's not really a speedrun in a competitive sense. I'm not trying to compete against people who have got the world records because that's... No, I'm not. I'm not that retarded. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm actually going to wait until I get the fire shield before I go after the ice rod, because that's just really going to help. Smart. Wait a I think there's... Yeah. What do we got here? Uh, yeah, the, one of these shops. Those shops are definitely inferior. When you're thinking about where you want to go and what you want to do. Well, we gotta look out for that. Because that will happen. As ridiculous as it may seem. Oh yeah, I need to come here anyway. Duh. Yeah, once you get the Pegasus boots, you gotta come here to the library. And just dash the bookcase and go pick it up. Yep. The Book of Adora is kind of retarded, but... It's like, it's basically a special key that they put between you and several things you need, but it doesn't really make much sense because you need to use it to get past, um, to get into the second palace with the Pendant of Power. And, uh, ah, got him, sweet. Ooh. Well, that's the only thing that guy says. That's right. And he's not gonna magically invent any new speech patterns there. No. No. So that was pretty pretty dumb of me, really, to bother with him. Oh well. Huh?
but I did need to come up there to get the book. So it wasn't a complete waste or anything. <laughs> Pretty useful trick to have, I tell ya. Yeah. I forget what's in here. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, down to the southeast, there is a cavern or a hole or something with a guy who has a shit ton of money for you. I'm actually trying to avoid the really big. Well, oh, that guy came out of nowhere. Caches of treasure right now because I can only have 999 anyway. It's good to have bombs. Now I can demonstrate for you. See that? Pretty sweet, huh? Oh shit, I never got the goddamn bug catching mat. I'm such an idiot. Wow. I knew I forgot something. Wow, epic. You forgot the bug mat. Yeah. I just walked right past it. I'm just gonna go right back. How far back was it? Back in town. Don't forget I can't swim yet. <laughs> so we've still got that white cap. Definitely feeling the effects of that stuff. I'm a little congested today also. Oh shit, it's a bee! The bees are problematic because of the hit detection. It's really hard to tell where to slash. They follow you everywhere too. Yeah, they don't like you. They f well, you fucked up their shit. So yeah. you're pissed. Alright, kid with the bug catching net. Here he is. You just walk over to him too, he'll just start talking to you right away. God, I can't believe I walked right past him. <coughs> well now that we've got that, let's go blow a hole in Granny Wall. Get some fairies. So stupid. Yeah, take that, you fucking chicken. Wait a minute, there's no fairies in here. There's arrows in here? God, I'm dumb. Why did I think there was fairies in here? Oh, there's chickens in there. Fucking hell. Alright, whatever. Nothing we can't fix. I should have played through this game a couple more times before I tried to put it on the show. <laughs> well, you're stuck now. Uh... Oh, wow.
Son of a bitch nailed me. Now we have the proper tools. Ah, oh, bitch, she ran into me. What happened there? She ran into me, so I ate her. That's actually a really good question. Like, what happens to the fairies when you touch them? They just vanish. So I figure, like, you eat them. Damn it! Fuck it. Ugh, man. That just... It happened so fast, I was like, wait, what? What's in here? Ugh! God damn! Oh yeah, here's the map. I don't think you really have to talk to this guy. And yeah, he just tells you, oh, you have the Book of Medora, so you can do this thing. Actually, if you come talk to him before you find the book, he says some other stuff. But since you already have it, he's not going to tell you anything you don't know already. Piece of heart, pretty easy to find. Yeah. That's the real reason to come in here. Yep. So out here in the desert, you gotta be careful of these little fucker sand men that pop out of the ground. They will fuck your shit up. Those crab looking things. No, they're like sand men. Ah. You just can't see them right. Okay, so... This palace is a little bit harder. The enemies are significantly tougher already, I would say. Oh god, those things. Those statue dudes, you're gonna see me have some trouble with them, probably. I hate the ones that pop out of the ground randomly. And I don't have the fire shield yet. If you move fast, you can kill them. I don't know if there's anything in here. Oh no, this is the trap room. Some dungeons have rooms like this. There's nothing to really to be gained from the room. There's just tough enemies and you're trapped inside. You're gonna see that happen a lot. <laughs> because, uh... I don't know, I just kind of play this game straight through. I don't, I've never really memorized 
all the little ins and outs. I just kind of do it. I never had to, you know. It was never so hard. Fucking big key yet. Damn it. Oh, damn it. So, as you can see, their eye moves counterclockwise. So, if you move clockwise and just keep moving, you'll intersect, but you'll be able to dodge because you'll be moving. I think there was, um, door back here with a little key. Yeah, here we go. Oh. you again. Yeah. Power glove. Now, now you're, you're playing, playing with power. power. Yep. So we're not coming back to this room, so let's just clear it out. sounds are getting malformed by the emulation, it seems like to me. Yeah. Woo! He actually ended a hit on you there. No, he didn't. I dodged it just barely. Oh, good. I couldn't tell. Just the you know, screen being yes. small and all. Catch a fairy, keep it in a bottle. Because if you lose all your hearts, they'll automatically resurrect you. Now, while you're up here, you do not want to forget to go get this. Piece of heart. Sitting right there. Yep. The only access to it is from up in here. And now you just go up in here.
Oh boy. Well, you know, I'm thinking if there's a key, why don't I just leave? There might be a reason for me to stay. Could be a good reason. Sometimes a chest will appear though, so it's, it's good to be sure. You just want to keep aware of that statue in the center, so where, where his eye is facing, and get a feel for how quick his eye rotates, and just plan on having to deal with it. Because it are. will be there. Like that, and oh my god, what did I do that for? Nothing? I think I did that for nothing. But I could be wrong, so I'm gonna stick around and do it again. Nope, that was all for nothing. <laughs> that happens sometimes. You know, dude, I'm tripping balls. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm getting my ass kicked, though. By floor tiles. Yeah. Okay, this is the one. That's a pretty cool effect, the way the wall moves, don't you think? Yeah. And I don't know why, but they have um, a big key door here. But it doesn't make much sense to me, because you couldn't get over here without the big key anyway. Because you need it to fucking get to the... Th these fucking things. So when they come out of the ground, it also sends dirt bursting in each of the four diagonal directions. So you want to kind of like stay to the up, down, left, right of them. Wow, I can't believe how many hits these guys take. Finally got one. There goes another one. Sweet. Shit. Nice. Oh, 
All right. Wow. Come back to this place. Not for a long while, anyway. I'm gonna go see a man about some flippers. So now that I have the power glove, I can lift these light colored stones. Which, even the big ones. But I can't cover, I can't lift the dark ones yet until I get the next glove. So now I can progress to here. I'm gonna dash into those to blow those up. Over here, kill these little green things. Or just move past them. Yeah. Actually, you're saying that made me realize I didn't have to kill them. And then you just walk up. Up here. Glad to be helpful. <laughs> and this place is dangerous. I advise you just keep walking. Best thing you can do. Oh, shit. I got right in the worst place possible. Man. Luckily I wasn't losing any life when I fell in the water. Um, best thing you can do is, just, is to memorize the path you should take. If you learn the, the right path by heart, then you... It's not that complex either. There's only a couple of forks. There we go. Now I don't believe there's any way to get around this. You pretty much just have to pay 500 rupees to get the flippers. And they are worth it. The flippers are awesome. Um, swimming actually has its own set of skills. Because there is like a... a stroke button. And uh, make sure you don't f miss this heart when you're on your way by here. Because that would be very silly, because you're right here, you know? Mm -hmm. Pretty much if you just keep moving, these guys don't give you too much trouble, I don't think. That's why knowing where you're going, you know, just, it really helps a lot. And then you definitely got to come in here. We're gonna throw some items in there. We're gonna throw this in there. The Otis appears. You tell her, yep, I dropped it. And apparently, she likes honesty, so she gives you something that really kicks ass. Uh, yeah. Give me a better shield, please. You can also throw in empty bottles to get bottles full of magic potion. So that's pretty good. Yeah.
Oh boy. You can, you can jump into these whirlpools now. And this is pretty much the place where we want to be next, too. So that works out really well. Um, I'm going to spend all my 200 rupees right now improving my bombs. Because I definitely want more bombs. So in case you didn't know, we've warped now to the southeast of the map. Which is an area I have not yet gone into in this run. For a couple of specific reasons. Most of which was I didn't have the fire shield yet. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have the flippers yet. And it's just not really worth it. You could you can come way over here right away in the game and get the ice rod. Before you even go into the eastern palace. But it's not really... Doesn't You don't need it for anything. And you're going to come back around here anyway. So it's kind of a waste of time. If you love the ice rod, you can go for it. You like playing with your ice rod, so you can freeze things. And you shoot your blue sparkly magic everywhere. Oh. <laughs> so it's annoying. You have to throw 20 batches, five batches of 20 rupees, to get her to show up the first time. But then, it lets you throw 50 at a time afterward. Thank God. I said we're gonna blow up a lot of shit in this game. Yep. So here we have a room full of fairies. Four fairies. Ultimately you can carry four bottles. Actually that just reminded me of the next thing to do. I'm gonna go get the third bottle now. Oh cool. That's a very smart thing to do right now, because it's right up here. So yeah, I think it's A or something to stroke. And that really, learning the rhythm helps a lot. You know, this bridge, there's this guy, he's like homeless or something. I don't know what is up with this dude, he's tenting. But, uh, he's like, here, have the bottle. Yo, Link. Have this bottle. Pretty much. Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna second-guess it, you know? It's like, hey, give me a bottle. It's alright, free. That's cool. Nice. That's cool here, man. Gonna go down here and <clears throat> oh, you see that one whirlpool is actually a warp whirlpool. It takes you kind of to the northeast, northwest, I think. That's useful at some point, right? Um, I'm not sure. It's you know, it's an option. So as you can see here in Link to the Past, places to blow up are actually have deep cracks in the wall, so it's much nicer than in the original Legend of Zelda. There was not really any indicator whatsoever. Yeah, there, just nothing. Which actually, I've been playing The Binding of Isaac from Steam, and... Uh, it's very much like Zelda, and they also do not have any cracks or anything like that. It's a pretty awesome game, though. So here we can also get the good f the good bee, which I have never really bothered with. 
I don't know, if there was a fifth bottle, maybe. Or if you didn't have to carry him in a bottle. But, uh, I just can't be arsed to fuck around with a good bee. Uh, let's see, there's a butt ton of money in a cave around here. I just know it. Oh, thank god, I have that magic boomerang now. It's so much faster. Yeah, here we go. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure I can... Yeah. You have to press, like, right and down. So you kind of, like edging against the wall. Those enemies, you're going to see them in a couple of other places. They're tough. But here's a good question. How was this guy hanging out in here behind a rock wall that needed to be blown open and then a room full of those fucking guys? Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. 300 rupees. And you will notice, of course, we are right around the corner from the wishing place. It's very intentional, I think. Mm -hmm. This is where most of my money is going to go mm -hmm. from this point on in the game. What's up, Minerva? Yeah? Don't mind my cat. She just likes to whine about nothing at all. So pretty much from this point on, I'm going to alternate arrows and... Well, doesn't that look funny when I do that? You like that, Dan? I, I don't know. I can't tell what he's doing. It's oh well. When you see the video, you'll you'll understand. It'll okay. be funny. Uh, my arrows. Yeah, like that. He's humping the shit out of that fucking well, man. It's crazy. I can't believe what a horn dog link is. <laughs> <laughs> and then it tells me I'm gonna get lucky later. Nice. Eat a fairy. It's just crazy times for Link. Uh, now what do I do? Let's see. Go over here. We'll go over here. Wow, snuck right past that guy. Oh, this guy's gonna be a bastard. Look at that location. Jeez. Sitting on top of my fucking There we go. Water can be a little tricky. Yeah, here we are. We're right by the Lost Woods. Right where I thought we'd be. Um Glove. 
Oh, I can go get some money over here. Forgot about that one. <laughs> it's funny how these things just kind of come back to me. Now this will take me back into... And this is the only way to get back into these dungeons, I'm pretty sure. Because if you try to go back into the castle, the hidden passageway has been blocked off. Pretty much you just come in here. I don't know why I put the hearts in here. I'm going to blow up this wall over here. Bombs, arrows, shit ton of rupees. to the next dungeon. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. We're right next to it and everything, so... I could go get caught up in a bunch of other shit, but... Oh my god, Minerva, what the hell is your issue? Oh, you're cleaning yourself, so you're spitting up all over yourself. That's what that noise is. Fucking cat. These guys are weird. They drop green rupees. If you catch enough of them fast enough, they'll drop a red one. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, great. Here we are. Another fucking dark place. I hate these little guys. They turn to rock. They're so obnoxious. Yeah, this is the dark world. Yeah, I know. 
And you have the whole map right away. Well, that's always cool. I just I forgot how cool that transition was. Yeah. Up there to the left is, uh, I think, Ether, the medallion of Ether, but we don't have the Master Sword, so we can't get it yet anyway. Uh, I think we go down here first. so dumb. <laughs> oh boy, what now? Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, I need the big key anyway for here. Right. Huh, whoops. So these ones you do just have to dodge or fight them. One of the things about this game is you don't know, unless you've memorized, what's underneath the jars, because it will be the same every time, um, and you don't know, and you can kind of like waste stuff unless you know what, what's going to be where. These guys, these guys are tough. They take so much damage. And they like, can send you flying all over the place from the knockback. That is not a good combination. No, especially with all these holes in the ground. Yeah, but you can send them into the holes, too. So yes. That's always good. Go up the crooked stairs. out for that slinky fireball thing. God. Oh man, they're it. fucking invulnerable.
Yeah. Damn it. Came from the wrong side. There we go. That should do it. Yep. Gotta have the moon pearl. Otherwise you're screwed when you go to the dark world. And you can actually get through this world to get through this dungeon without getting it. You don't need it to beat the boss. But later when you're in the dark world, it's like, uh, do what now? It's pretty funny. Yeah. There's so many ways to screw yourself over. you looking for now a a switcher ball and you have to fall in just the right place see those blue squares yep I want them to be up and the orange squares to be down Yeah, I just came to eat your friend. You can just stay here alone forever. <laughs> I'm a cruel bastard. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty important, so I'm gonna go fix that. Blue one's up. Orange one's down. Oh man, the enemies respawned. Lame. Oh well, I already fought you once. You're not gonna give me anything new. People say they have trouble with this guy. And I can understand that. He's tough. Oh, this fucking guy. Yeah, this fucking guy. He can, especially after you hit him a couple times, he'll start going faster. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I used to get knocked off the edge by this guy. Yeah, that's so much. No joke. Yeah, a lot of people, and you hear it from a lot of people, and he'll do it to you. He gets me, you know? I heard there was some trick to stopping him from knocking you over, but I can't remember what it was. Mm. 
Wow, what a that bastard. That apparently was not it. What a bastard. That was some bullshit right there. <laughs> shit sandwich. A great big shit sandwich. You said it, bro. I think I might go eat that other fairy. It's just what I'll do, because these fucking assholes keep respawning. And that fucking dickhead up top there, you know he's at full life again. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. And here I am playing with this fucking keyboard. It happens to the best of us, happens to the rest of us. I'm blaming it on the keyboard. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. the items don't respawn. Nope. Alright. Alright, wise guy, let's... Yeah, it's a good thing he moves in a... Never mind. I'm going to say it's a good thing he moves in a somewhat predictable pattern. He doesn't. Not that, not for, not for me anyway. He's all over the fucking place. And he's, he's so fast. So little space to work with here. Dodge your ass, motherfucker. Well, that's it. And there we have it, folks. Two pendants. something in here to get. Like what? Uh, I don't know. A heart or something, maybe. It's hard to say. Yeah. There's a heart right there. Wow, yeah. And the 
big green, big green bowling balls falling down the hill. I love the way the fucking woods don't, the fog is all lifted. That shadow of the trees, though, it's still kind of messing with my eyes. Yeah. It doesn't move at the same rate as the rest of the screen, too. Mm. That's part of it. It's a cool effect, but it gets in the way a little bit. Well, you know, this tiny screen. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're back in Dark World... I need the hammer before I can go through there. Um, I came up here to get the ether.
you know, that way I could act like some kind of a drunkard out of an early Irish novel. Boy. Yeah, you got the fucking warpy shit going on. Dogs fuck the Pope. No fault of mine. Those fucking clouds there. Wow. Hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the magic of ether. This is the Ether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. Too much. <coughs> now that is pretty fucking cool. I'm supposed to be racing to the sanctuary, but it's like, I knew I had to come back and get this sometime. I didn't know, I haven't quite worked out a really good, you know, a more elegant timing for getting that, because I know I'm going to need it at some point. Let's see, I think you need it to get into Misery Mire, the fifth Dark World dungeon. You might need it for other things too. I think I've got everything. Yeah. So what we're gonna do Yeah, because the next piece of heart I get mm -hmm. I get outside of the Pyramid of Power in the Dark World. And that's how you know you've gotten everything so far is when you get that, and it's your tenth full heart, you haven't missed anything yet. Yeah. It's actually a really good, it's easy reminder because, you know, there's there's ten in a row, and then you get to the dark world and you start getting more. So, we're going to save and quit for now. So that's been part two, the second segment yeah. of The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past on the video game Stoner. Um, next time we'll do Hyrule Castle and probably the Palace of Darkness or whatever it's called, the first dungeon in the Dark World. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I think next time I'm gonna try to be not quite so messed up. Yeah. Because I keep feeling like I'm forgetting something. Remember, like, how I forgot the bug catching net? I was like, yeah. Doop. That was pretty bad. Okay. Catch you next time on this crazy program. 